Hey, what is up everybody? How's it going my fellow collectors? This is Regan. Thanks for tuning back into our channel. In today's video, we are going to unbox and review this newly released figure of Hot Toys, another Star Wars figure. This is none other than Costco Reeves from the Mandalorian TV series. TMS 069 16 scale collectible figure. And before we start, if you're new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell if you want to get notified once I upload a new video, especially hot toys. Okay, without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so this is the art box. I would say it looks fantastic, it looks really good. And of course, the picture of the figure right there in the middle, the standard look for Star Wars figures and the team badge of Mandalorian TV series right there. And of course, some nice pictures of Costco Reeves right there. But I find it like, a, you know, the print or the quality of the picture is not that really, you know, high definition, kind of like that. I mean, the quality is not that really good. Um, well, probably it's really like that, you know, kind of like, uh, like not that really clear, you know. Still amazing, I mean like, you know, those pictures, okay? And at the back, just, you know, uh, decent description of the warning and, you know, website of Hot Toys. Anyway, I'm really excited to see the figure and there's also a lot of scratches right there. I don't know why, so let's open it. Wow, nice photo. I mean like, you know, the picture together with Fennec Shan, that is amazing, right? That looks really cool, okay? This is really nice picture, I would say. Okay, and there you go, oh my goodness some uh, very nice presentation of the packaging i would say okay oops there's a backdrop underneath okay let me get first the instruction sheet Okay, looks a lot, so don't forget to check it out. Okay, first up right here, we got the two pieces, extra joint, small one in black color. And then next up right here is five pieces of extra interchangeable hands with different gestures. And I noticed right away the details, paint job and weathering is absolutely fantastic, guys. There you go. The details looks good, but the color is a little bit, you know, soft. You know, I mean, light, you know, not that really vibrant. I'm not sure why. I mean, compared to the other uh, Mandalorian um, figure, okay? Anyway, moving on to this one right here. This one is the Jetpack Booster Fire Effect. And same thing, like, that's, what, uh, that's one thing that I noticed is the color is a little bit light. I'm not really sure if it's really like that, but, you know, Probably, you know, that's the style, you know, that's the idea of the artist, okay? Anyway, two pieces and details looks pretty neat, I would say. And then right here is the wired grappling hook. And I would say looks good, you know, the, the standard uh, wired hook. But yeah, it's pretty neat. The, de the details looks good. And I'm not really sure if this one, if, I mean, like, if we could bend it, right? I wish we could bend this one. Anyway, I'm just gonna leave it like this, okay? And then right here is the blaster rifle. And it's absolutely fantastic, guys. Okay, I think I, I saw this kind of uh, blaster rifle to other figure or uh, trooper. And again, it looks really good. It, the paint job and weathering is amazing, you know. Um, some movable parts, probably it has, but I'm not sure where. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> Maybe I'm just assuming, you know. I forgot already, like, you know, this kind of rifle. Anyway, and with the straps made out of fabric material, okay? And then this one right here is her blaster pistol. The details, the paint job and weathering. No, not doesn't have much of weathering, but, you know, the paint job is absolutely fantastic. And right here is the extra head scuff. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely beautiful, guys. Look at that, Costco Reeves. Okay, the even the braids. Wow, that is absolutely terrific, guys. Very nice head scalp. Okay, we're gonna review that later. And of course, the figure. Oh my goodness, this is really, really amazing, guys. Okay, let me remove those plastics first. Okay, there you go. Wow, this is really nice. Just like Bokatan quality, 
amazing guys i'm really excited to display this together with her and with other you know mandalorian <laughs> amazing okay let me get first the base of course the base is really nice as well let me remove from the plastic and then right here some really nice uh flat form right there the weathering the paint job is absolutely fantastic guys and of course the nameplate i'm not going to remove the plastic to protect from the scratches and again i would say the the base is really nice guys amazing i mean it's pretty neat you know i mean the quality of the paint job absolutely fantastic anyway waist holder right here and okay the dynamic pole okay and the thinner one a thinner dynamic pole okay looks really good Okay, so I'm gonna put this one on the side. Let me remove those. Okay, so I think that's pretty much everything included in the box. So now we're gonna check the articulations, okay? Let's get it on. Okay, so now let's check the articulations. I'm gonna start with the head. Okay, so this one, um, I noticed right away that there's not much of space underneath the helmet. I mean, compared to the other uh, figures that has the helmets, this one doesn't have much. So when I move the head, the helmet, it's, I would say like it's a little bit, uh, you know, limited range of motion because, uh, yeah, probably because of that. So there's not much space, so, you know, you're, gonna be, you're not going to be able to, you know, move the head you know, maybe uh, like bigger, okay? But I think it's pretty okay. I mean, it's not that really big deal, I would say, you know? It's just that doesn't have a look up, uh, yeah, I mean like, wait, pose? Yeah, it doesn't have, yeah, try. Because this one doesn't have that extra joint here, probably. So that's why I'm having a hard time to move the head. So yeah, I think that's it. I mean like, I don't wanna like force it, but I could feel already that it's already like, you know, stuck there. Yeah, it doesn't have. Okay, um, if I'm going to change the helmet, I um, mean the head, let me try. Okay, so let me remove, okay, I'm not going to remove this one first. So just in case uh, there's a, um, you know, problem or damage, at least I could exchange it easily. There you go. So now it's very tight. If I'm going to move it to the side, I think it's fine. Okay, not bad. Look down. Look down, that's it. Look up. Also, yeah, see, it doesn't have. Um, so right here around this uh, part of the neck, like, you know, the under, the bottom part, it doesn't have that extra joint probably. So that's why I cannot really move. So probably it's like a one whole, um, you know, head, one whole body together with the neck. So that's why. Okay, so again, I would say the articulations, uh, it's pretty smooth and tight. It looks great, I would say. But it's just that, you know, uh, quite limited range of motion. Okay, moving on to the arms. Oh, ratchet joints. 90 degrees or you could probably do, uh, you know, above 90 degrees. I think so. Yeah, but, you know, it's good. At least it's ratchet joints. Hmm. Oops. So I'm just checking if I could do above uh, 90 degrees. Front raise. Yeah, this doesn't have, I think, 90 degrees. Just 90 degrees, guys. Probably that's the highest one. I could feel already, it's already tight. Probably because of the suit. The back, nice. Swivel, nah, doesn't have. Hmm? Doesn't have. There's no swivel on the arms. So only the swivel part is close to the elbows. So. Moving on to the elbows, uh, I think only 90 degrees. Hmm. Yeah, that's the max, guys, for the elbows. I don't know why, probably because of the, I think, yeah, the material of the suit. Yeah, I think that's it, guys, see? You can clearly see that, you know, that L uh, posture. So meaning it's only 90 degrees, okay? Hmm, that's bad. I mean like, you know, I wish it's, you know, over 90 degrees. Anyway, moving on to the wrist joint. Pretty decent, you know, you know, the standard one. There you go. Moving on to the upper body and waistline. I could do, yeah, I think that's a max. There you go. 
crunch in nah doesn't have because of the belt blocking that armor and it has some you know another armor here at the bottom of the belt so uh you know kind of like you know blocking the range of motion at the back the arch arch i yeah you can see you can see that clearly it has okay but not that much okay and inside i think it's fine right moving on to the legs open uh nah so doesn't have much i mean like i think it's fine but i'm just saying like uh you know the pants is not stretched so that's it that's the max for that opening that leg and then the race to the front nah that's it okay below 90 degrees okay to the back again front i think you just need to force it a little bit you know I mean, I think you could, you know, get uh, at least a bit like close to 90 degrees. Probably in the instruction sheet, uh, they're going to tell you guys that, uh, you know, it's below 90 degrees. But I think you could be able to, you know, uh, do a bit higher. But yeah, for the back, it's, I think it's okay. It's good. But for the front, uh, not much. So I would say limited of range of motion. Of course, if you want to do some, you know, more dynamic poses, I mean, especially with Gosca Reeves. I think, uh, you know, uh, we should, you know, get that. But of course, for the sacrifice of, you know, good-looking suit, then, you know, you're not going to be able to do that, okay? Swivel, uh, I think it has, but just a little bit, you know. Yeah, it has, okay? And then knees, same with arms. Yeah, so just 90 degrees, okay? Then the ankle part oh this one looks good i mean like this one i would say looks great compared to the other parts because of the boots the boots is made out of like a soft leather material looks like a genuine leather to me anyway twist okay i think it looks great you know for the ankle part so i think that's it for the articulation so now i'm gonna put those accessories to the figure okay starting up with the pistol Okay, looks great. Okay, and then, hmm, of course, for the rifle, since it has that, you know, extra strap, um, I mean, like, you know, that belt, kind of like that, then we could hang it like this, this side or to the other side, kind of like this. Okay, looks good. Then moving on to this fire thrust, I mean, like that jetpack booster. There you go fantastic okay looks good but in my you know in my screen in my video the color of this one looks uh, more you know a bit vibrant i would say but you know in person you're gonna find it a little bit you know soft you know but again probably that's the you know that's how they see it you know in the series right anyway moving on and then for this one this uh, grappling hook I think should be underneath there you go that's how it looks like i think that's the uh yes okay should be there or the other one is the this flamethrower uh effect so it should be in the front of this one right here that's where the fire uh gonna come out so it looks like this there you go Maybe you have to remove the hand before fixing this one, but I think it's fine. Even the hands is there, so I think it's totally fine. Okay, there you go. Then moving on um, for this one, this one is very easy to, you know, put the hands to the rifle. Very easy, guys. Okay, so you're not gonna experience some issue on this one. I mean, like you know, for that hand, so I think it's totally fine. Okay. okay, so I think that's it for the accessories. So now I'm going to do a very quick review on the details. Let's take a closer look on the details, okay? Okay, before we talk about the details, before we review this one, let me show you guys those uh, movable parts and, you know, probably the removable parts from the body. So I'm going to start with this one right here. This one is very common, you know, the knee armor. This one is movable. It has some garter design right there. But this one is different from the other, um, you know, figure that has like uh, armor on the knees because this one is uh, inserted from that, uh, what is this, like the pants. So which is really nice, at least you don't need to remove it. But of course, if you're going to somehow fix it, 
it's it's not probably not good for some of us but then i think it's totally fine it it looks good because at least it's you know that garter is hidden you know from the you know, inside of the pants which is good right and then this one is also probably you know removable from the legs because it has some garter as well right there this is boot cover and um yeah you could move a little bit uh yeah because it's not stick to the, the pants but yeah probably you could you know remove this one okay and then this one the armor it has some velcro design right there also this one yes yeah, so i don't want to you know remove it because uh i don't want to like somehow like damage you know the stitches and probably this one maybe uh, let's see that later but this one yeah this main armor there you go okay so that's how it looks like that's really nice that's really a uh, light blue color right and uh yeah so meaning the paint job is really amazing right see the dear friends wow anyway um yeah so that's uh, detachable from the body probably this one too uh yeah so it has some velcro also this one both side so it has some velcro underneath and this one as well velcro velcro design so you could somehow fix uh but you know be careful when moving it or when detaching it from the you know from the suit because it might gonna damage the stitch on the you know velcro this one the forearm gauntlet i believe this is also movable and uh, you know um detachable from the arms from the body yeah you can see right there uh, but this one is quite tight you know i would say so probably that's why we cannot really see some move, movement there you know from the suit okay and then uh this one right here the jet pack uh this the jet pack is not detachable from the armor because the armor is already um, attached to the suit which is you know it has some velcro design again yeah just be careful you know when taking out that you know velcro and also the suit is uh it has some velcro design so probably we could you know remove that uh, upper suit okay if you're going to do some customization or some you know if you're going to fix it you know clean it anyway okay so that's how it looks like and also this one as well sorry uh the belt is uh detachable or removable again uh from the body uh, just be careful you know when moving it because i believe this one has some yeah because this you know this main belt i mean the front part of the belt with the pouches it's attached to the main belt see right there so if you're going to remove it make sure you uh remove this right away so you're not gonna you know somehow damage that what's this like that stick that glue from that you know front belt okay so that's how it looks like okay let me wait wait, wait. So there you go so make sure to um somehow tighten that you know that velcro from the back so at least you can you know put back the you can put back into the right position in the middle so this one is attached to the belt so yeah you could remove that uh, of course including that uh, you know holster and uh, yeah i think that's it for those movable parts or you know detachable parts as well okay i think it looks good let me so basically those armor uh the full suit you know those intricate details are pretty much the same with bokatan figure if you watch my you know uh, unboxing and review on that figure you're probably gonna notice that uh, i think probably the difference is the color some extra maybe holster additional armor and uh, in terms of you know details like you know paint job weathering uh, those cupping like looks like a battle damage those stitch the tailoring are pretty much the same you know even the belt you know yeah you're gonna notice that but one, one thing that i really like on this figure is the you know I, you know i really like leather though this one is not real leather it is a you know made out of leather material but i really like the design you know it looks like a genuine leather to me you know um yeah it looks really good you know the stitches right there it's very neat you know um, again the weathering really amazing guys um that's i think the one thing that i really like because again those parts the other parts are pretty much the same with bokatan figure yeah but it's really really nice guys which is absolutely incredible you know those coughing the weathering is really amazing guys and also the, the belt are also made out of leather material but it looks good you know the color and even the you know the details even this holster right here looks like you know genuine leather right and then also at the back also that you know jet pack i mean the details the weathering and paint job is absolutely fantastic okay
And last but not the least is the head scarf. I would say it is absolutely beautiful. It looks fantastic, you know. The likeness, I think it's almost there, you know, uh, almost 100%. I cannot really say 100% spot on. I mean, compared to Fenix and head scarf, you know, that one's really crazy spot on. But this one, I feel like uh, there's something missing, you know. Um, I'm not sure, uh, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's just my eyes opinion. <laughs> of course, we have our own, you know, different opinion or eyes opinion. But I feel like there's, you know, something missing, you know. Um, probably, again, Hot Toys probably forgot some details. Um, if I'm going to be more specific, um, the cleft chin should be more deeper. The lips should be more vibrant color. Um, should have more, um, what is this, like the eyeliner. Yeah, kind of like that. And But, you know, the features of her face is really there. Um, you know, the eyebrows, the eyes, the nose, the lips, I think it's really spot on, you know. It's just that maybe they forgot some extra details, you know. The texture, the skin tone, I think it looks great. Uh, well, the texture, I think also that one um, should be more smoother. I'm not sure, maybe later once I do a macro shot, I'm probably gonna see like differently, you know, like maybe, oh yeah, it, it is spot on, you know. <laughs> so... Yeah, but anyway, you know, overall, the head scalp is absolutely incredible, guys. Especially those uh, braids, the hair scalp, amazing, right? It's really there. It's just that, you know, maybe it's just me, you know, my own eyes. <laughs> anyway, I think that's it. That's all I could say, you know, about the details of this figure, okay? Sorry, wait. Uh, before I forgot the, this helmet, I would say, you know, this helmet is absolutely fantastic. The details, the sculpt. And, you know, those weathering and the paint job is absolutely fantastic, guys. Okay, and then this one right here is movable. Okay, and also nice. Uh, this one has some, you know, a cover for the neck. At least it doesn't look like, you know, a weird neck or helmet, right? Anyway, yeah, that's it. Okay, my final thoughts on this Koska Reeves figure, I would say it is absolutely incredible. It is a great looking piece, definitely a must buy and a must have figure to any Mandalorian fans or diehard fans of Mandalorian series out there, especially if you like this character, if you are a fan of this one, like since there's a lifelike head scalp of her, of course you're not gonna leave her, you're not gonna ignore if you have Axe Wolves and bo in your collection. So I think you should really add this to your collection. However, you might gonna find some flaws on this figure, probably for me articulations, I mean the range of motion or the head scalp, but in my opinion, it's totally fine. I could live with that, I still like this figure. I mean, I love the details and the quality. So if you're on the fence on getting this figure, if you're gonna ask me, I think it's a no brainer, okay? I think that's about it. That's all I could say. Let me know your thoughts on this figure as well. Feel free to comment down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Okay? Until then, see you on the next one. Peace.